And then Hello, thanks for joining us. Today we are looking at something that's going to be a big problem we think over the next couple of years. This key is one year old and it's from a 2018 Ford Connect and the blade has fallen off because the key holder has snapped. Let's try and get it out and show you. Uh, excuse my fingers. A bit sore today because we've been doing quite a lot of work with locks. But yeah, here you go. So there's it's all just broken off where the pin goes through and fallen off. So we're going to show you the problem and what you can do about it. Okay. So what we're going to show you today is how to take this apart and then put it into a nice new shiny case. It's not got a four badge on. But other than that, it's pretty similar. Okay, so let's have a look. So we'll put that out of the way for now. So the first thing is, you need to take the battery cover off. You do that by popping a screwdriver. If you take the forward badge and you come this way, there's a little groove here, okay? And you pop a screwdriver in there. And you give it a bit of a lever up and that's how that's where the battery is okay and you'll see there that you've got a little screw and it's a torque screw it's a tiny little thing let's undo that okay let's take that screw out okay so there's no other screws that we can see that are holding it together so now you've got that screw out there. It should just come open, but it's just really tight. So these are circlip pliers. You can get them on our website. Yeah, they're really handy. They open up. So you give them a squeeze and they open up. And so I would just gently put them in there, give them a bit of a squeeze, and the key will come open fairly easily. It just needs a bit of help, really. Okay. Now, a couple of things. Here's a circuit board. This here. Is really important if you damage this your van will not start okay so let's just first off pop the circuit board out okay we will pop that out of the way so that's the circuit board safe out all right let's pop that out of the way we can get rid of that and then we have this bit here. This is all the damaged bit. You can see now pretty close up what's happened. Okay, so we can get rid of that. Okay, so then we have our new case. Okay, the first thing again is to take the battery cover off this. And on our new case, it's just by, you find, just find a slot along there somewhere. And you will be able to pop a screwdriver in. And that will come off there okay so pop that out of the way that's a good bit to keep up and you have the case here you can see there's normally a screw in there but that's missing at the moment okay so we're going to put that in a minute and again to open it up just pop your circuit pliers in give them a little squeeze and just be ready for the whole thing to come apart oh you go nice one that's not too bad so this is a little bit different to what we've seen before the whole uh, spring assembly is contained all sort of within here so if we leave that alone for now we might not need to take that all apart okay first things first then let's take the circuit board and pop it into the key there is a little plastic pin here okay that locates everything and there's another one just here okay so the circuit board won't move around just give it a little squeeze all right, that's in nice. Okay, next thing is here's your case, the other side of it, and you need to pop the blade so it's pointing out like we had before. And then it's really a case of just popping it over, giving it a squeeze. Uh, 
Okay, that's together now. That's all together. We should be able to fold this down and it should be able to flick out. The next thing is to pop the screw in. With the case, you will get a screw, a little one. That screw just needs to go into there. Okay, I'm sure you know how to screw a screw up, but let's just do that up. Right, keep the case together. Okay, All right, so the blade falls down. That's nice. Okay, so just pop your battery in. When you put it in, it needs to go under the lip first. Okay, so that's your battery in, and then you want to pop the battery cover on. Just clip it on. So there we have a new case on it. Really simple. This, this now, you know, this is a really easy thing to do. And you've got a couple of choices now. You can either take this to a shop or get someone to copy your blade profile onto this. That's the easy thing to do. Or you can pop this blade into here. Now on this blade here, we've got a few problems in that someone has been using it with a pair of pliers, so it's a little bit damaged. So we'll have a look, see whether we can still do that. But the next part of this video is going to show you how to put this blade into here. It's quite unusual that this blade will go straight into here. Okay, we're just going to show you how to swap them over. So there we get on. So this is a, oh, it's a bit big that, isn't it? Let's have a look. So this is a blade, mate. Uh, we use it as the locksmith, but you can need to find something just to pop the blade over. Okay. And then you need a little punch. Okay. Or something. And pop it in the hole. And then just give it a knock. So as you can see, we took the blade out, we knocked the pin out, took the blade out that came with it, and we put the Ford blade in. And it's not bad, actually. So it didn't take any modifying, because apart from the fact that it was a little bit worn out, and it flicks out uh, reasonably okay. The only issue is that the gap between here and here is slightly too narrow for the, the original forward blade and if, if it doesn't line up exactly correctly then sometimes it catches okay so you might want to if you're going to use a case like this maybe take a little bit off the inside of each of these that might give it a bit more room but apart from that you have a key repair on a new shape uh, forward key and with a three button key, you are good to go.